Hello, I'm Patricia McNeely. I'm a Blu-ray Twin Flame from Chicago, Illinois. I hope you're doing well today. Today, the subject of my video is love. Let us not forget that this is ultimately always about love. And this is a time for self-love, loving yourself, taking good care of yourself. And even though a lot of you are not really wanting to do this by yourself, this is an important part because love has deadlines. There are some deadlines of things that are moving into place from above you to help your life be the way you want it to be. So it's not that your wishes won't come true. It's just that you are getting things situated and set up and it's ultimately up to you to make sure that you are the one continuing to maintain what you've wished for. So that's really some of the energy that we're in for this week and actually going into August. Okay, so throughout the month of July, you've had a lot of pushes. You've had, you know, the eclipse pulled the shade down and you weren't able to see everything or feel everything. And there's reasons for that. And some of the reasons have to do with what has been expected to move into place to support you and help you have a successful physical union, physical union. That's where you're always going to feel it. It's putting your two bodies together, but not just these two human bodies. It's putting together your subtle bodies. And that's where a lot of people aren't sure exactly where everything is at for themselves or what does that mean or what does it even feel like. However, in a higher way, there have been deadlines for positioning and alignment. And maybe you hear this. You might hear people say things are coming into alignment. What does that mean for you? What does it mean from here? So there is going to be a bit of a down to earth energy. It's going to be for scaling your life to the way that you would like it to be, how you want it to be, the things that are in your area, the things that you want your life to be. And yeah, it could be some of the pie in the sky things that you've wished for. However, your basics have to be covered. And in order to do that, you will sometimes get a push in order to do so. Now, some people don't like that. They will view it as interference or resistance. And it's neither one of those. It's actually you that you need to customize some of this for you. So this has a lot to do with your financial side. Okay. And I've been talking several times about all the houses that belong to you and your twin, your house of family, your house of friends your house of finances, your actual house house. How is your love nest going to be? How are you paying for it? How are you maintaining yourself? Okay, a lot of people are expecting their twin to show up. Well, the twin has already not only shown up, your twin has already been connected to you. That's a given. Drawing yourselves deeper into each other so that you can solidify and really have all the things near and dear to you be completely a part of your life. And that's some of what's feeling like it's missing for people. You feel isolated. You're tired of the isolation. And I do get that. You're here for love. You're here for real love, primal love, passionate love. And yes, that includes cards and flowers and songs and lyrics and some of the things that you read about. You're going to, if you haven't already, or it's been a while, going to be experiencing those things yourself. So all of your foundation has to be set. This includes your physical health. Get those things done. I'm going to give you three little phrases here. Update, feel what needs to be updated. Upgrade, do you need a better grade of something? Okay, and some of the financial could include things like your budget. It can include things that have to do with bills, or um, agreements with other people, you know, some type of financial agreements. Uh, this can be sometimes refinancing or taking someone off of a house note if you're planning to break up with them. There's all kinds of aspects of this. And why? Because a lot of it's gotten all tangled up. It's all connected here at the mind. It's connected 
here over the heart, not actually your heart, believe it or not, your heart's connected with your twin, but it can feel very strange and it can lead to tense situations that you don't want to have and you really don't want to have that in your love nest, do you? You don't want that in your body. Your body is your love nest. You are actually connected with each other. Okay. A tune-up. Do you need a tune-up? And this can involve any of your items or possessions that you have. It can even include things like devices. It can include um, your cable service. It can, and you might say, gosh, Patricia, what does that have to do with spiritual things? Strings of connection and releasing the things that feel like interference. So if you are changing things up, this also breaks up the stagnation. This starts to get things moved. Now, this energy this week is also thick. It's thick. You might feel like things are in slow motion, but there's a reason for it. You have this retrograde energy that is slowing things down for you, but you also have a little bit of compression with time and then an expansion so you can get your things done. This is going to be more thorough than you realized. Okay, The gate is already closing in July. Some of you are feeling that. You're feeling things close. You're feeling things move past you. You might be getting confused. You might even be saying to yourself, mm, what if they're right and it's not for this lifetime? That's just stutter baloney. It is for this life, especially if you've come this far. Now, let's say you're not sure what this all means. Is this new to you? Are you yourself on a twin flame journey? You probably are. If you find that you've had some major shifting, you can feel energy shifts. You find that situations come to a head. Those are some of the ways that you know. If things are coming to a point where you say, I can't live like this, I can't live with this, or I can't live, you know, I don't want to live. Okay, those are some of the telltale signs. But there are even more than that. And if you look back, you will find that you may have been on the journey home in several ways before you actually found out these words. August is when we were having the lion's gate, officially, but the closures are already happening for people. August is your grace period to get some things done. Now you might say, I've been doing the work and doing the work and doing the work. And I will say back to you, everything to you has been connected to you. Your spirit is one of several bodies, so it goes beyond spiritual. In fact, it's more than spiritual and it's deeper than physical. And you yourself are part of this. You are helping to affect change when you make changes. And there is a ripple effect. You have to pay attention to your body. Your body is how you first knew this to begin with. And this has been a huge alignment which is still taking place. So even though there is closure, you still have to line yourself up with the things that are the things you want in your life. Educating yourself on the body is going to be very helpful for you because it's not just education on titles or names or names of chakras or something. Those are helpful. And in fact, it's not going to be an education in terms of learning ancient languages. A lot of people use ancient languages as a way of describing, and then they have to describe it in the native language, whether it's English or German or Spanish or French. You still have to translate those words. The best way is by feeling. That is how you knew to begin with. That's how you knew you felt loved. That's how you felt the love beyond all measure. That's how you felt that this is not an earthly love. This is ultimately all about love. Okay? It's about love and passion. It's about loving yourself and loving each other so much that you want everything to be right. You even want all things in the world to be right. And sometimes when you can't figure it out, you start looking for something to do. Don't go looking, look to yourself. 
okay? See what needs addressing and see how can I help my other. Now, if you don't know, because this is going to be more thorough than you may realize, you'll find things come up. You'll find yourself in situations where you say, I never thought I'd be in this position. Well, maybe that's happening to your twin also. Is your twin going through something? Are they breaking up? And they're really not knowing which way to turn. You have to be the one that they turn to. The way that you do that is you're there for them. You're there for them here and you're there for them up here, okay? Getting yourself up here is what I teach. And I teach you how to do it so that it's part of you on a daily basis. That is where some of this has to be for your body. It's not something you join in, you know, once every full moon or something like that. It has to be something that is much more persistent. That is how love is. Love is relentless. Love will keep finding you. Your lover will keep coming to you, keep finding you. And that's in more ways than the human way. That's upsetting for people where they say, all I want is the human. But you see, you're much bigger than that. Your essence is huge. And this is a huge thing that is you. It's not just a thing we're doing. This is you. This is you and you and you and you. It's you. It's you. So getting back here, how do you address some of these things? It's through your body. Not just any body, your subtle bodies, your twin flame body. And doing it so that not only you feel it, your twin feels it. That's what you do when you can't pick up the phone. Of course, you're always thinking about each other. But what are you thinking? And what do you want them to think about? You want it focused on each other. Not on all the other things. You want all the other things to be settled, set up, ready to go, and getting down to the kissing parts. Because that's also what love is. It's tenderness, it's affection, it's not just sexual, it will feel highly sexual. It's something that takes you beyond this plane. And even though a lot of you know it, and you might say, whoa, I've had a little trouble grounding. Okay, but you see, you are rising up to meet it. You've already done that part. Now you have to pull it deeper. So to help you, okay, because I started off by doing a lot of this through body work, through removing energies from people, removing the energies of old, outdated, expired relationships. I learned by doing body work. I also learned how things feel through doing the body work. There's a lot that I know. And I can tell you something, when it comes time for the end of the day, a lot of people just want to feel love. They don't want to say really that, oh, I killed it today. I was the best salesperson. They want to come home and tell someone what a good salesperson they were. Or they want to come home and say, guess what? We had this triumph at work. This autistic child wouldn't know what a breakthrough they made today. It was, it was a victory for everyone. We were in tears. You want to share that because that's how love is. It's love. Tis a love. Okay, so how do you get this? Well, by learning your body and learning what to do, because you have channels that you need to open that connect only to each other, you have ways between you two to dissipate what happens on a daily basis. You also have things that need to be reset for you and set up personally so that you have the things in your life that make life here rather comfortable and enjoyable. You're no longer relying on old, expired relationships to give you your comfort. You can't have love triangles anymore, and you can't keep people. You have to throw them back with the rest of the fish. So you'll find that you're detaching in this energy, and that's a part of the thickness. It's happening so that it's very gradual, and it's peaceful, and that people don't feel ripped apart. And this is intended also to help families, to help children with restructuring, 
with resetting things, to making the priorities of love. So to help you, I have several things. I have a pre-recorded webinar called New Beginnings for Twin Flames. This one is very helpful. This gives you the initial primers for getting your twin flame breath going and also getting your initial channels open. I highly recommend this one. I also have two live events. I have one for August 10th, 11th, and 12th. This is a three-day twin flame body class. I give you a certificate at the end. We are going to have three days of intense twin flame learning, experiencing, and body work. And this is going to pack a lot into three days. It's here in Chicago. It's live. It is with me. I will be working with you on this. So if you're in Chicago or you're coming into Chicago, check it out. Write me about it. There's a description when you click the link below. Also, my other live one, September 15th. This is a one-day workshop. This is uh, with continuing education credits, five and a half continuing education credits. This is at a place called Infinity Foundation, and they hold many classes. So I've been invited to teach there about Twin Flames. That's exciting because we're growing. And in terms of the whole YouTube community, YouTube network, we're rather small, even though we bring something really huge to the table here. We're not as big as the gaming community. But boy, do we pack a love punch. Yes, we do. The other thing I still have is my Lionsgate webinar. So if you're feeling some of these weird pressures, if you're having odd things happen to you, if you are saying, I don't know, I've been doing all this stuff, you know, what am I missing? Why don't you come and join the webinar? I'm doing it until August 9th. It is a daily one. If you miss one, I send you the recording. Don't worry about missing it. Come and join. Now, I also, as I said, I do one-on-one. -on -one. Maybe you feel you don't want to be in a group. Right now, your energy doesn't want to be in a group. I do one-on-one. -on -one. I do readings, which are more than a reading, because this is not a psychic reading. It's not a tarot reading. It's a reading of both of you, two people, two and two, two lovers. That's what it's about. I read the heart. I don't read the mind. I could read the mind, but we don't go there anymore. We're reading the heart. We're getting guidance. We're getting high guidance. I also do coaching. If you're going through a tough situation, I have a series of webinars on several subjects, including divorce, abundance, and about the subtle bodies. I also do body work sessions. I do them over Zoom or Skype. And I also do them in person at my studio. Now, if you have questions on anything, I do feel that. Or if you would like a webinar and you want me to feel what would be appropriate for you, reach out to me and write me at twinflamesmerge at gmail.com. My website, so that you have it, is w... Oops, that one's not working. It is... Twinflamesmerge.com. Twin Flames Merge.com. There's a lot of emotional energy and there's a lot of feeling exhausted and tired. Okay. One of the things I'm talking about in my Lionsgate webinar is building yourself up so that you have stamina for this. Because now it's up to you and your twin. You're coming into a level here where things are much more personal. It's your love that has the deadlines for getting each other together. Okay, I know a lot of you have been feeling that. And if you could see all the stuff happening behind the scenes to remove that, purge this, clear that, collapse that, you know there's a huge amount of effort going into this just to have the lovers together. You two are the love. Don't let yourself be talked out of it. Don't get so distracted out there, okay? Get yourself focused on where the love is meant to be felt, felt, 
seen, seeing your future, seeing each other, it's through your body. Let yourself be kissed and held and touched. There are people that I've had sessions with who do have quite high level experiences. And that is because I have taken the time to get my connections higher so that I'm able to do a lot for people in terms of the body work and the energy work. It's not just energy, it's love. So if this sounds good to you, I hope to see you there. If you're not sure, write me. And by the way, thank you everyone for subscribing. I've hit 10,000 subscribers. I'm going to do a special video about that. And thank you so much. But please subscribe. Get other people to subscribe. And please know that with this energy, it might feel thick, like things are in slow motion. But things are going to be pushing very rapidly. So there's a paradox of, you know, slow-mo and hurry, hurry, hurry. Get it done, okay? Financial, physical health. Make sure that those things are the way you want them to be. There will be time to revisit it, maybe a year from now. But for now, if you need any help with that, there's quite a bit I get guidance on about that. You might say, what does that have to do with being spiritual? Money and spirit don't go together. Ah, but you see, money is an energy, and it has gotten distorted by the mind throughout history. However, it is still necessary to make things comfortable. And it's not everywhere that someone can just, you know, barter or trade things, okay? This, there are other aspects of financial health that pertain to how you live, at what level you're living, where would you like to be? Because we've all heard the stories of people who hit the lottery and then lose everything because they can't manage it. They can't handle it. And then they get, you know, a lot of people that, you know, just somehow it, it just falls, slips through their fingers. That's what happens in karma. You're not karmic people anymore, okay? It involves being sensible and being the angel that you are with some favorite things. Being the twin flame lovers that you are and really turning the tide simply with love. So love. So remember that this is all about passionate love. That's really ultimately what this is about. No matter how many things people get distracted on, no matter how many videos or things or crystals or cards or anything, it's about love. So just simplify it, come and learn how to feel the love and keep it going. That is what I teach. And yes, my people do graduate. I want them to graduate into full physical union. So thanks so much for listening and watching. Have a wonderful week. The links are down below. Reach out to me if you would like a one-on-one -on -one session. Bye now.